Ephesians chapter 6 Children, obey your parents in the Adon, for this is right. Respect your father and mother, which is the first command with promise, in order that it might be well with you, and you might live long on the earth. And you, fathers, do not provoke your children, but bring them up in the instruction and admonition of the Adon. Servants, obey your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, and sincerity of heart as to Mashiach. Not what I serve as men pleasers, but as servants of Mashiach, doing the desire of Elohim from the inner self, rendering service with pleasure as to the Adon and not to men. Knowing that whatever good anyone does, he shall receive the same from the Adon, whether he is slave or free. And masters, do the same to them. Refrain from threatening, knowing that your own Adon also is in the Shemayim, and there is no partiality with him. For the rest, my brothers, be strong in the Adon and in the mightiness of his strength. Put on the complete armor of Elohim for you to have power to stand against the schemes of the devil. Because we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against authorities, against the world rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual wickedness in the Shemayim. Because of this, take up the complete armor of Elohim, so that you have power to withstand in the wicked day, and having done all to stand. Stand then, having girded your waist with truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having fitted your feet with the preparation of the good news of peace. Above all, having taken up the shield of belief, with which you shall have power to quench all the burning arrows of the wicked one. Take also the helmet of deliverance and the sword of the Ruach, which is the word of yod heh vav -He. Praying at all times with all prayer and supplication in the Ruach, watching in all perseverance and supplication for all the Kodashim. Also for me that a word might be given to me in the opening of my mouth, to be bold in the making known the secret of the good news, for which I am an envoy in chains, that in it I might speak boldly as I should speak. Now in order that you might also know about me, how I am doing, to Kikos, a beloved brother and trustworthy servant, and the Adon shall make all known to you, whom I sent to you for the same purpose, so that you know about us and might encourage your hearts. Peace to the brothers in love with belief from yod heh vav -Heh, the Father, and the Adon, Yahusha HaMashiach. Favor be with all those who love our Adon, Yahusha HaMashiach, undecainly. Amen.